All right, today we got a new battery. Brand name for this battery is DJLBERMPW. Let's open it up. All right, we got a nice thick owner's manual. So this is a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, 12 volt. It says the standard charging current is 20 amps. The standard discharge current is 20 amps. The max discharge current is 100 amps. All right, and there's the battery itself. So on the top here, it says max charge current is 50 amps. That's good because we're going to charge it with about 50 amps. And let's get a weight on this guy. We're in at 21.6 pounds. All right, so let's charge this guy up. All right, so charger started. After this gets fully charged, we'll do a capacity test. All right, the battery is fully charged now. We have it hooked up to the shunt and the inverter and the air conditioner will be the load. So let's turn on the inverter. And then let's turn on the AC. I think I'm gonna run it on medium. So we're pulling about 630 watts, 48 amps. We'll let it run at that and I'll be back when it's completed. So we're down to 1% left on the discharge. 99.2.3 amp hours, 1,280 watt hours. Here we come. Bam. 100 amp hours, 1,289 watt hours. We're just going to let it keep going to see where we end up at. Okay, so the inverter is beeping now, so I'll go ahead and turn off the load and then turn off the inverter. All right, so we hit 104.93 amp hours, 1,346 watt hours. That's really good. Uh, we almost made it to 105. If I would have just left it a little bit longer. Ah, we'll just call it 105. All right, guys, let's open this bad boy up. I've already got it loosened up pretty well, so I think we just got to... Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's see here. We've got two 8-gauge silicone high-temp wires for the positive and two 8 gauge silicone high temp wires for the negative. The aroma coming out of this battery, wow, it's knocking me out. It's very, it's a, it's a very solvent kind of scent. Need to let this air out outside. I can almost taste it on my tongue. Okay, so we've got, what do we have? Let's see if we can get this out. Okay, we got one of the blocks out, high density foam blocks out over here. Okay, there we go. All right, that's coming out like a charm. Okay, so we got the BMS on this side. Part of it's covered up by this foam block. I wonder if we can get this off without ripping the paper. Yes, we can. This is a JBD. We got a JBD BMS. Now this is not one that would support Bluetooth. It's just a non-smart JBD, which they do have, 
Let's uh, let me see if I can remove this uh, piece of tape. Yeah, it's 100% of JBD. So we got JBD ZPO4S014-T-S version 1.1. Uh, it says it's a hundred amp. So I'm feeling like uh, I was almost going to get excited here because I thought for a minute that this might be a sensor. Uh, this might be a thermal sensor, but it's not. It's the negative, the most negative battery sense wire. It's got uh, looks like a, a high temp cutoff switch. So there's the top of the cells. And I think there's a high temp switch here. Yep. It's just a high temp switch. All right, so let's see if we can figure out what these cells are. I can't get it to scan. Maybe I can enter it manually. We've got O3HCBO160000AU. Four zeros AU. Mm, it doesn't like that. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what these are. So on the cells, the construction here, there is a insulation material between the cells. Feels like a very thin piece of plastic, but there it is there. Fiberboard on almost on all sides. We got laser welded aluminum bus bars. It does have a relief in the middle of all all the bus bars for some expansion. The uh, the relief valves on the cells are actually covered up by this piece of fish tape. Some people might not like that, but I still feel like if these cells are going to rupture, <laughs> it's going to blow past that fish tape, regardless. <laughs> you know, instead of exploding the can the the aluminum, unless there's just a real rapid explosion that happens. But I don't think we, these are known to do that for lithium iron phosphate. Yeah, overall, I think the construction looks fine. Yeah, you know, here's the bottom of the cells. You can see that spacer insulation material between. All right, guys, so there you go. I think this is gonna be the end of the video. My final thoughts on this, it seems like a pretty fine decent battery i don't see anything wrong with the construction really let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i'll catch you on the next one